do you even vape bro should be no surprise this whole vaping thing now is the trendy thing to do even trackers are doing it good morning everybody mike les farmhand mike here starting off friday morning working a little ground uh, we got some frost it was quite chilly last night um I think it got down to 33 so the tractor the windows were frost on the tractor had to let it run for a good 15 minutes or so before I could start working ground but uh, everything's going good and I'm gonna do this until it gets dry enough to work ground of course we filled the trucks and the grain carts last night got to get everything emptied so uh, I'll get a few acres done here before we get started with the harvest Did anybody catch that at the 45 second mark when I said I'm going to keep doing this till it gets dry enough to work ground? What I meant to say was I'm going to do this until it gets dry enough to go out and harvest corn, but I can't go back and change that clip now. So as I got daylight here, I did pop the drone up in the air. You can see the grain bins and so forth in the background, so I'm going to fly over there. But uh, with the auto steer and stuff, it's real easy to uh, get some drone footage and uh, be in the tractor at the same time, which I'm doing here. And I did a couple skip passes just to make it look pretty. I was running this McFarlane Insight at about 10 mile an hour here. It looks like I'm going kind of slow, but uh, anyways, um, 10 mile an hour. Hank was over at the grain bins, and he got his phone out, and he claims his phone was clocking me at 13 mile an hour, but he was a good quarter mile or so away. And would you look at that, we even got some vaping going on here at the grain bins. So the drying bin there is making the steam. Uh, Hank's over here unloading corn. I don't even think he knew I was spying on him here. I might even catch him in part of this video walking around there checking the bins and so forth as he's dumping corn.
Now, as you can see here, I did stop the tractor to fly over here to get that footage. Uh, I just felt I was going to be pushing my luck if I tried to keep working ground and do that. But as you can see here, it's a beautiful fall morning here across southern Dark County. I do really like this new DJI Mavic Pro as it's nice and compact, it folds up nice, you can carry it around in the tractor in the case, it doesn't take up a lot of room. My Phantom 4 is great, but it's just in a bigger carrying case and stuff, it's uh, not as convenient when you're doing this kind of stuff here. So anyways, I'm going to bring her for a landing and get back to work here. I ended up working ground most of the morning and uh, Hank and Jeff took off a semi load of corn this morning. We went and ate an early lunch so now I'm back in the 365 here and uh, gonna do some grain carton and uh, we're gonna get some corn acres knocked out here. Today we're working really close to the bins. They are just about, oh, maybe three quarters of a mile to a mile over there. So uh, waiting on trucks today should not be an issue. So we should really be able to knock out some bushels of corn today. So combine duty it is now. And then I'll switch back to the grain cart later to try to get some drone footage. I'm not gonna fly the drone and the combine at the same time. Uh, it's tricky enough doing it running the grain cart, but uh, anyways, that's the plan. I'll run this for a couple hours and we'll switch back Corn is averaging uh, it's over 200 bushel and the moisture looks like it's averaging around 19% We are BTO status today, BTO, big time operator, running two tractors and grain carts today to keep up with the combine. When you plant specialty seeds, you have to have two grain carts and tractors running to keep up with the combine, even with an eight row head. This corn is doing amazing. For the year we've had especially, it's doing really amazing. So remember, specialty. 
Is that Trevor? That is Trevor. Trevor's driving the Versatile 365. Way to go, Trevor. time here so Jeff jumped back in the combine Hank jumped in the versatile in the new grain cart and I'm able to stand here on the ground and get this exclusive drone footage so I got a couple more minutes of uh, good drone footage here that I was able to get and didn't have to multitask trying to run the tractor and the drone at the same time I don't know if I mentioned this before or not but that tractor and grain cart is just one good looking setup
And just like that, I'm back into Versatile. Okay, Friday night, back to work and ground. Uh, the field I started early this morning, I got that all done. Now I'm gonna move about a mile and work on another field for a little bit. And uh, my wife's gonna ride with me tonight. She's actually been riding with me for the last 45 minutes or so. So I guess that's our Friday night date. She's following me in the truck right now as we move fields. And uh, anyways, maybe I'll get her up on the camera here. Who knows? All right, I got my wife in the tractor with me, so very rare. She doesn't like to be on video, but since it's kind of dark in here, she agreed she would be for a little bit. So there you go, guys. But this is my date for Friday night. It's Saturday morning and had a good night. I worked ground last night, but was having some trouble with the stuff bunching up and so forth. So I didn't work real late last night. I uh, had a good breakfast this morning. And i uh, just going to get things checked out here. It's 33 degrees this morning. Got a little bit of a frost here, but a nice crisp fall morning. And uh, we'll get everything fueled up, greased, and be ready to hit the field again.
versatile 365 now has 50.4 hours on it and it is recommended that you do a 50 hour service where you change all your oils and your filters so I am 0.4 hours over so I hope nobody judges me for that We are ready to start harvesting now. So I had to uh, do some maintenance to the tractor here, do the break-in service and all that. So that's all done. Uh, we're playing around with tire pressures. I think we got them pretty good right now. Um, running 22 PSI in the back and 26 on the front. Thanks to DNL equipment, Adam up there, that was his recommendation and them guys sell a lot of tractors. So uh, I'm gonna give that a whirl, that's his recommendation. So. I know we're just pulling a grain cart, we're not doing tillage, but uh, I can already tell I like that ride. Uh, one thing a lot of people don't know, when a tractor comes brand new, a lot of tires are at maximum pressure. It, uh, they put them up to 35 PSI for shipping, so tractor's gonna ride like a son of a gun at 35, but you can play around depending what you're doing with a tractor, different tire pressures. Of course, this tractor has a suspended axle too, but uh, anyways, just wanna give the best ride and uh, best performance it's got. So, with that said, here we go. So I'm starting the day out here running uh, Versatile 365 in the JNM grain cart. Uh, it's about 10.30 in the morning. We're gonna stop for lunch here and uh, then I'm gonna run combine after lunch or that's kind of the plan as of right now. But that's always subject to change. I just had a visitor, Kirk from TK Farms, stop by. That's the guy that I've done some videos around here with the Lexion Combine. Um, anyways, they they got some fields around here and they got finished up around here last night. He went by, jumped in the tractor with me, and because he was riding with me, I just spilled the first corn of the season. I'm not blaming him. I'm just saying my first spill of the year and somebody had to see it. I only spilled about a bushel over the truck, but still. He witnessed it and uh, there you go. Got my Delta Track keychain. And sitting here watching the combine go by. So after lunch, uh, Jeff and Hank switch things around. Hank's now in the Versatile. He's gonna run grain cart. And Jeff's gonna haul corn. And we just take turns around here. And the mid-afternoon Pepsi, of course.
out of coffee, Hank. Okay, so now uh, I took the one truck back, the drying bin's full, but I'm riding with a professional truck driver here, so Hank's showing me how it's done. Just look at the way he shifts those gears. He's got, he's got style in the semi. Ryan bin's full, um, the big green cart's full, both semis are full, so we're gonna fill the 750 here, so Hank's in there, and we only got like 13 acres to finish this field. It'd be nice to finish it, but we might uh, just let the drying bin go down and come back and finish it so we can get moved to the next field for tomorrow. You guys remember a video I posted last spring when uh, I was planting corn in on the GPS map you would see skips where the planter was leaving skips just momentarily and we messed around with it tried several things and every time you try something different it would work for a little bit and it ended up being a wheel speed sensor on the corn planter itself well this field here is where it started acting up on me and I got some of those spots here I'll try to show you of course now that I got the camera on it'll probably be tough to find one but I think uh, I've seen them coming up here, so hopefully we can get one here, get you a nice uh, picture of that so you see what was going on. Right there. So there was like two of them. There's one right there. So when it would do it, it would leave anywhere from maybe a foot to almost three foot at a time. And it was happening so fast on the monitor, you didn't hardly catch it all the time. But uh, anyways, uh, we got it fixed. And I guess everything electronic has problems. You just got to deal with it. There's another one. So yeah, it was doing it plenty. But like I said, if you wasn't watching the monitor, you wouldn't see it because it was just, there's another one. So evidently it was doing it quite a bit there. Uh, like every 50 feet or so. So there's one right there. Yep, in there. Okay, there's a bunch of them. Usually when you turn the camera on, that stuff's not there, but uh, yeah, maybe it was worse than I thought. There's one, there's one. Hey Baxter, hey come here, come on, don't lick me, let me pet you. Come here. And that's gonna do it for Saturday. Uh, drying bins full, everything's full. Let's have a look around. That's the field I was working on yesterday or I finished that last night. Clear over there, if you can see that bin, that's where we're doing corn right now. And hopefully be on that field tomorrow. And then if you can see the cell phone tower way down there, we have a field of corn down there and then everything on the south farms will be done. I'm gonna go home and eat supper now. So thanks for watching and subscribing to my YouTube channel.